What makes you marry him? Why older man? Gary is 61. <laughs> and you were... And I am 23. You yeah. got married at the age of... Uh, 20. I was 20. 20. Yeah. Oh, I would not always recommend that because I think 18 would be yes, too young. Yes. Why do you think that there are some foreigners seeking for Filipinas to be married where there were some other Western women in their country? You know, Filipina, we are more lovable and more desirable. You know what I yes. mean? Hi guys, welcome back again to my channel, The Sun in the Philippines. And for today's video, we had another special guest, Laya. How are you, Laya? Hi, I'm doing great. How are you, Giselle? Thanks um, for having me. Yeah, you're very welcome. I'm doing good as well. It's been a long time. Yeah. I haven't seen you. And it's so good to be here at your place. And for today's video is I'm going to interview Laya about relationship since uh, she's married to a British man named Gary. But uh, before that, I want you to please introduce yourself to the viewers so that they know about you. Hey guys, so my name is Leia and I am Filipina. I have two little girls and I am married to American British men and um, yeah, I also run a YouTube channel and we live in Tumagueri. Yeah, so I share our life here in Tumagueri. Yeah, so thank you Leia for uh, being part of my uh, YouTube channel. And this video is to inspire people to let you know guys that um, Laya is experiencing you know, the show to to let you know that their story, how will they survive in their relationship here in the Philippines since they are living in the Philippines for a long time now. So Laya, you're married to a British man named Gary. What makes you marry him? Why do you say that, oh, I re really want to marry this guy because I think he deserves everything from me? <laughs> 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 yeah, so... I marry Gary because I think uh, he is the man that God, you know, Give provide you. me. Yeah, yeah. I, I do believe that. And yeah, there's so many things that, you know, so I think God put us together because God have a big purpose for yes. it. Yes. Yeah, so yeah, there's a deep meaning why deep I marry Gary. So many things. A lot of things. Yeah, he's a great guy. He is very respectful and he responsible loves... Responsible father very as Very well. responsible, you know, father and husband. And, you know, the most important thing is he, lo he loves Jesus. He loves Jesus, yeah. yeah. Yeah, he's a Christian. So it's so many things, yeah. And another one is why older man? And Gary is... How old is Gary? Gary is 61. And you were... <laughs> and I am... 23. You yeah. got married at the age of uh, 20. I was 20. 20, yeah. Okay. And we met, uh, you know, uh, when I was 18. When I, okay, yeah. so, so. Yeah, what makes you think of uh, dating or married an old guy? I think in some, you know, I would not always recommend that because I think 18 would be yes, too young. Yes. But I don't want to be hypocrite. I don't want to be sound hypocrite. But I was 18, but I, I think for my age, I was very mature yes. compared to other 18. You know, I my, uh, don't prioritize seeing friends. It's like I really, you know, I am mature to my, I always put my daughter first before yes. anything family. So and I, you were working as well. Yes. And um, yeah, I, I'm actually surprised how mature I am. Like, I, you know, some <laughs> 18 likes to go out, yeah, see have friends, fun. have fun and you know, but to me, you're different I am, than 18 I'm kind of different. Even my mom said that I was different compared to my other siblings. I'm very mature. Mm. Yeah, so I would not suggest that, you know, we have 38 age gap. Oh, I think yeah. it's too much. It's too much. It's too young. Yeah, it's too young to date um, yeah. and to be married at that age, you know, or to date at that age 18. Yeah, I think it's not a big concern to, you know, to men. I think to women, like when you're dating under 21, you know, I think it's a bit, that would, that would be hard for a man to be with a, you yeah, know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because... 18, 19 is still, I think. Yeah, you, you are almost the same, right? You, can you tell how much difference your maturity when you were like 19? I think when I was 18, I'm, I'm not that matured as you because mm. I was work, I know, 
I was studying still at that time. My my world is just friends, study, home, friends, study, home. That's my si- circle of, you know, in my yeah. mind. So, I think when I start getting matured, when I have a baby, that's how it starts. Because I am start to be independent, how to survive, every, how to take yeah. care. Since I became a single mother yeah. as well. So, um, yeah, I think not really recommended too, too young to, yeah. to be with yeah. older as well. Yeah. But I think God has really put you... Yeah, in, in this yes. situation because you know God have a good purpose and then also uh, you know um, sometimes experience can really make you mature. Yes. Your experience, I I've, I've experienced so many things yes. in my life and that's make me appreciate and you know see the good things in life and yeah I'm just happy how I you know really become. <laughs> Yeah, that's great. That's great to hear. In marriage, Leia, what are the difficulties or big challenges that you ever encountered and how did you deal with it with your partner so far since the marriage? We've been together for over five years now and yeah, we did, uh, we experienced so many difficulties. difficulties. Not because you know towards each other but more on like the challenges it's just Uh, uh, how life is. Sometimes bad things happen and you know you know that that yes. you know a few months ago we just ha- i'm not comfortable to share about all that but yeah we d- had um you know big challenges in our yeah. marriage and it was I, that would make really make me realize how short life could be you know wow. and um yeah that was a big <laughs> i'm sorry get, get emotional about that because it was uh, you know if we don't have each other i don't know how we're gonna cope up you know mm. so i would say that um Gary is always at the back yeah, of you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would say like, you know, to always have each other's back, no matter yeah, what. Yeah, I think that's marriage is, you know, because it's not all about happiness. They were like, had, you know, bad things yeah, happen yeah, yeah. in life and the one that you're married in the future will gonna be at your back. Yeah, well, some, not your enemy, but yeah, your yeah, there best are some, friends. Yes. Yeah, there are some couple that would treat each other like an enemy, but your partner should be your, you know, your... I'm yeah, your best that. friend, yes, the person sh- that you can talk with your problem. Exactly, and then it's just so many. And then we went to Thailand before that happened. We went to Thailand. And then we, when we were in Manila, like we get offloaded yeah. and then... A lot of things happen to you. So many. It's like the struggle has been... F- the, the challenges <laughs> is following us. But, you know, but we remain stronger each yeah. other. I'm really surprised. I think that's God's work. But yeah, when when we were in Thailand, and when we were in an airport, it was like... Very we frustrating. Were very, we're very sad about sad. the money, but then we look at our children. I just realized, let's you know, continue this yeah, or like that. We still know? have each other. We're healthy. We're safe. It's just money. So we yeah. lost hundred thousand yeah, pesos because you get offloaded. Yes, and, and we miss our flight and all that. But yeah, it's part of the life. And money can we can find money, you know. But the happiness we can't turn back the time. True, that's the learn yeah, that that's, we. Yeah, and you have your family together, so that's more fun, you know. You enjoy, it. and I see your videos when you were in Thailand. You're having you're fun riding happy. with the big elephant. So it, I think it's all uh, worth, worth it. it still. Yeah. So that's the learn that we 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 the, you the lesson encounter. that we learn. Yes. That you know, it's just money. Why would you worry about the money? It's not really the. It's you just know, a material thing that. Could, True. One of the material things that could make you happy, but mm. the family is the most important thing that could make you happy. Mm. So. so when we get there, anyway, when we get there to Thailand, me and Gary talk about. He said, "You know what? Let's enjoy this. We lost the money. It's just money. We can earn that. So we yes, really enjoy exactly. That's true. Mm. You can we earn really money. En- mm. We really enjoy our time in Thailand, even though we, you know, we just encountered yeah. a big challenge in our, you know, in our life. It's part. It's it's and, part. Mm, but we still get to enjoy." It, yeah, you know, so that's still overcome good. it. Still overcome together. You know, you never blame each other, but mm. you enjoy together being in Thailand because that's your purpose. And um, yeah, I know it's really sad. It's not really fun, but uh, at least you went to Thailand already, and that was your first time. Yeah, it was my first time. It was wow. fun. <laughs> it was fun. Oh, I hope you can visit. You will really like the food. Yeah, I like already the food that we went to the. You know, but I think in Thailand, it's really region, authentic, it's really, it's very really good. good. Very good. You like, like it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Maybe soon. <laughs> Leia, what is your stand in the family and in what way you make your husband happy? 
What is your stand? Like, how do I make how, your husband Yeah, happy? how do you make your husband happy when it turns in the house or it could be anywhere? Through cooking, the way I, you know, we Filipinas, Filipinas. We love to take care of our men. And yeah, that's how I show my love. That's one of my love language is to cook for him. And when he is in his hard times, I'm there to, you know, yeah. make his day better. Like, yes. Yeah, through that and through you know stuff like you you things. do a lot of things serving, to make serving serving serving, serving, him. serving your king. Yeah. <laughs> serving That's right. Your king. Yeah. Yeah. So um, in your household, Laya, do you do if you don't mind me asking? Because I know I, this is my first time going to ask this to all Filipinas. Do you do in marriage? Do you do a fifty fifty? What is that fifty? Like fifty in the food, fifty in the bills, or like that, or how do you manage that since your marriage? I never shared that in YouTube, but I'll do it for you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Anyways, uh, we don't do fifty. It's like you know what. He what had, can you do? Yeah, like what the or like I earn my my I earn my own money like from YouTube. Not much, but I make enough and then he also make his own it's like we never have any arguments about money we just you know it's like our money like yeah. you know we're a team <laughs> and we earn money if but yeah i make my own i don't ask for yeah, him because i have my own but yes. if he needs you know for our like you know house you know expensive yeah helping each other we helping. help you we will never, just buy whatever you want. He will buy whatever he wants I, and share it to the family. Yeah, I, I spend. You know, when it comes to my like, you know, clothes and all that, yes. I spend my own. In your own. In he your never. Own. You know, he knows I. I'm not. I'm. I, not I can be responsible. Yeah. I can be responsible. I'd rather buy spoon and all that than buying like, you know, jewelry and all that. Yeah, I'm not a fan of jewelries too. I'm not. It's funny because I would buy like, you know, he said, I I bought before he was laughing because I bought, um, what do you call this? For grass cutter. A (laughs) cutter. And he said, why would you buy stuff like that, you know? (laughs) I buy... For cleaning. Yeah, 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 for for cleaning. cleaning Instead of buying some other stuff. Yeah. (laughs) I'm getting old, I guess. <laughs> All right. So, in your opinion, Leia, why do you think that there are some foreigners seeking for Filipinas to be married where there were some other Western women in their country? What can you say about that? Based on, well, you know, I observe what foreigners said, you know, Filipina, we are more lovable and more desirable. You know what I yes, mean? Yes, yes. Like, um, and then we love to do things for our men, like serving them. Like, yeah. you know, cook for them yes. and all that. And we are very agreeable. We don't like to argue. Yeah. And, um, yeah, we just know our duty as a wife. And I think that's one of the reasons why they come in here. They come to the I Philippines. Guess. And then it's more like, you know, the, it's the more, country. It's cheaper here. It's cheaper to and live And then here. people are very friendly. Yes. I think I would agree with that. Yeah, Filipino yeah. people. Not are, all, but most are. Uh, most are, yes. Will yeah. smile if they see a foreigner. Mm. Even if they don't know you, they will smile. Yes. Sometimes when I was a child, I will feel shy when I see a foreigner because they were so new to me when that was way back long time ago i feel shy but um yeah i think because filipina knowns to you know filipinas are known to how to cook how to serve their yeah. man mm-hmm. and we are like more on family oriented i yeah, guess yeah we're very close to our family close to our family we value family and also yeah the beauty is just a bonus for bonus us. for if you can yeah. find a beautiful woman <laughs> yeah. that's gonna be a bonus yeah. i agree for filipinas why do you think some are seeking foreign guy where you know what's the special <laughs> what's special with special. them also yeah i think uh, foreigners are you know mature and how yes. really have you know um they really plan about their future. They're not like go with the flow. <laughs> like yeah, with the, Philippine I'm not just... saying that I'm not going to generalize. Yes, you know, yes. Like the Philippine, but it's like you know you work. They, they don't have goals. Goals in, in life. Yeah, some some are. Yes, yeah, I agree with you. Foreigners yeah. are very you know serious. Serious. They yes. really take life seriously. Yes. Like when it comes to time, I like how organized they are. You know. They really like. Oh, you have to be like right on time right now mm. because they are running off. If, yeah, yeah, and one important thing is they they appreciate our beauty. 
oh yes we're very beautiful in their eyes <laughs> exactly I so. like i feel so invisible when it comes to filipino <laughs> and i am so surprised how visible you are when it comes to foreign yeah, yeah i i do but i don't put that in my head i just surprised how you know they how, find filipinas be- very beautiful yeah like our skin our, i, I learned how to love my skin because of my husband like you know he likes being morena he, you're morena you know yes he loves it and then i you know that we before i meet my husband i would not even wear my you know like short yes i would not show my le- legs because i feel so insecure about my skin yeah. but now i just you know embrace your color I, since I, your husband gonna like it yes yeah. i you know the confidence since i made my husband is really boast you know i feel your happy yeah. i feel happy about myself and all that so yeah that's really important thing you know they appreciate our beauty yeah they appreciate and it's a very good thing when a person be appreciated by someone it's very special when, especially to your yeah partner. because maybe they were not beautiful in the other of in the eyes of other but in your partner you're beautiful yeah so. that's all that matters as long yes. as you're beautiful when, yeah you know from, you have good hearts they're gonna like you mm. you know foreigners will gonna like you if you're gonna good women as well can be trusted and they are very responsible as yeah, well yeah i think so you, you know, know when i in when my it comes side to their children yeah, like yeah i noticed that with mm. gary very yeah very responsible on taking care of mm-hmm. Gracie and very Bless. protective and yes. I just you know I feel safe I can trust him to be the lead uh, leader. leader in our family yeah. <laughs> this is going to be the last question Leia and what can you advise to them if they marry a foreign guy we'll talk about Filipinas this in this part not to be perfect but to be to have a successful marriage in life since you're married what can you advise to me Leia <laughs> to have a successful marriage. Yeah, marriage in the future once you know if i get married one day what can you advise to me so that my uh, relationship will so be successful so many things you know l- marriage is not that easy you know but if you put god in the center of your relationship i think your you know your relationship with like smooth you know what yeah. i mean it's like you feel the security yes. you feel secured your trust will be you know full like you know like yes, over over overflowing, overflowing <laughs> your trust if you put god in the center of your relationship like i mean if your partner if you both love jesus it's like you know like you don't have to worry about tomorrow him. what you, if, yes, yes exactly you like you have hope the satisfaction in your life and like you know you don't have to worry you feel secure in your relationship and you trust your partner you wouldn't have to worry if you yes. go out you're fine oh yeah yeah right yeah so i think that's the very important and respect for respect each other for each i mean other. if you love god you know the holy spirit would work in you and you would just you know you do the right thing really so i think yeah that's very important and um God understand each other to have each other's back like there are some women that you know were, or couple that would treat each other like an enemy yeah because if there is something bad happened to them someone will gonna give up or yes, exactly. some they feel them, tired or like that. exactly and you know on social media like on facebook you've seen that like if they had an argument they will post they're gonna it. post it so everyone can see it everyone knows that you have problem and then right after that day you're okay and you're gonna post it that you're, you're loving. loving loving you know you don't have to publicly open your relationship to to social media because social media can ruin things can ruin good things so um yeah i think understanding respect respect i mean if you respect your partner you would not embarrass her to post oh yeah or to post him on social media right yes. so i think yeah respect and understanding you know that's a very important very important when it comes to marriage yeah to marriage or even in the start of a relationship still mm. respect is very important yeah exactly yeah So wow, thank you so thank much, you. Leia. That was a very good conversation. That was like I was scared. I thought I'm in uh, Miss Universe. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Universe. No, no. Serious, I know, serious, I really was... love your uh, que- I really love your answer from yeah. the very beginning of the questions. Really want me to ask more, to ask more. But yeah. thank you so much once again, Leia. Thank you. And um, guys, don't forget to subscribe her channel. Philippine family life with Laya talks about families and uh, what else? 
I also sometimes you know do talking videos, talking you know, videos, sharing people yes. some uh, tips, you know, based on my experience about dating, dating, and dating, Filipina foreigners mm. like that, and um, also traveling sometimes. Yes, yeah, so I'm gonna put again the the link of Laya's channel and check it out, guys. And please don't forget to subscribe to our both channel. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Just in the Philippines. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.